Hey guys, this is Vanessa. This is just a quick video response to Idolstar63 who was asking for help about how to do channel art, like for the banner. Um, Taylor Ashton, like the amazing Taylor Ashton, already helped her. And thank you so much because I didn't even know you could do it that way. The only thing is my computer doesn't have PowerPoint, so I, I thought of another way of doing it. And if you didn't mind, um, I'd also like to show you how I do it my way. Now, I'm working on a Mac. I don't know if it's different to work on a Mac versus a laptop or a PC, but I'll kind of quickly show you. Well, hopefully it'll be quick. I never did a video, video response before, but I'll kind of show you how I did it on um, Juliet's channel. This is the uh, channel art that I did here, and it's relatively easy. It's just a couple of steps to kind of figure out how to do. Um, doing research with this new YouTube format, I did learn that when you do a, a banner up here, channel art, it has to be a specific size. It can't be just one of your regular pictures. Um, it has to be pixels, and I believe the pixels were, I think it's like 2590 by 11 something. Well, I'll show you. Um, so basically what you do for start, just go into Google or Yahoo or any other, you know, any web page that you search for or search on. Um, my home page is Yahoo, but I prefer Google. By the way, I don't know if any of you guys saw this today. I don't know if it's just for today, but Google has this cool, you know, they change their format all the time. And today, oh, that's why they're doing it. It's Maurice Sendak's 85th birthday because this is where the wild things are. And it's really cool. So when you press it, and you've probably seen it, it goes to his whole story of where the wild things are and probably all the other books that he has written. Uh, happy birthday, 85 years, wow. I don't know if any of you have read this. This is an old story. Um, I read this when I was younger, like a hundred times, and I read it to Juliet, and it came up with a movie. The movie was amazing because it looked just like the book. It wasn't that good, but it was a good movie. So I'm not going to play this now because this, this just takes forever. So anyway, what I did, the first thing I had did is I went to regular Google, and then I typed in background. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to type and hold the phone at the same time. Um, I'm trying, I'm going to type backgrounds and then I'm just going to type in, oh, there's the image right there. You need a specific pixel size and this is a pixel size that's preferable. Backgrounds 2560 by 1440. That's the size of the pixels that you need for the actual banner. It won't let you upload a regular size picture. And, you know, when you do that, backgrounds 2560 by 1440, um, go into the images section. Now, Taylor had also mentioned if you go in images and also put just your own name, you know, you might find images of yourself as a background. So try that. But what you do need, um, see, when you do that, you'll pop up with like a whole bunch of backgrounds, you know, different pretty backgrounds, and they're all gorgeous. And if you want to specify a specific background, as long as you have the pixels in there, it might, you know, you might be able to put like cat, you know, to more narrow it down. So if you did that, here's all the backgrounds for cats. Now the way to check that it is the right size pixel, like I said, you need 2560 by 1440, I think is the max or minimum size you can use. And when you just scroll over the mouse, you see on the side, on the bottom, it'll say the pixels. Like this one is 25, that's what you need there. It'll tell you. See how I'm scrolling over every picture? And you can actually see it's giving me the, the actual size of the pixels. Now, see how this one's different? Even though I typed in pixels 26, 2560 by 1440, this one is not the size I need. And the reason I say maybe just make sure and check the size before you download it into your desktop is because you're going to go through all this and then they're going to say, sorry, it's too small. So this one's also too small. So in general, um, like say, for example, like this is a nice one. I'm going to use this one. So all you have to do here, you can either click on it and blow it up or just right click it here. Take the picture that you want. I'm going to take this one. That's what it looks like. Isn't that cool? And you can either save it. Oh, wow. Can you guys see that? Come on. There we go. You can save it image as whatever and save it to your desktop. And I'm so sorry because I can't seem to do this. <laughs> It's going to save it, save it automatically to your desktop. Save. Okay, like I said, you can save the image either from blowing it up directly or you can just save it right from the main background page by just right-clicking it. You know, it went back to just background. It didn't go to cats. 
So what you do next, after you found a background, you love it, you save it to your desktop. Then what I used was this uh, website called Pick Monkey, and I'll click on it for you. It's a photo editor, it's free. It's, this is what it looks like. Pick Monkey, there you go. And what I like to do here, now the next step what I did is you're gonna go open, you're gonna click edit a photo. So you click on that. Your desktop photos should automatically open, at least I hope they do. And if they do, you're just gonna grab the one that you just saved, and I believe that's it right there. Click select that, open that. It'll pop up on the pick monkey. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? Now the reason it's so large is because that's actually the size that you need. And you don't have to change it. If you do have a picture that comes up and it's a little small, the way to change it to the correct pixels for your banner is to go over here to the side. And you see when you scroll down where it says resize, you would click on that and you would type in the pixels that you need. Again, I think it was like 20 something by whatever. This picture is fine. It's already a good size pixel. It's not exactly the size pixel that I typed up originally, but those are the pixels. And because it's so large already, it's fine. So I'm just going to cancel this. So this is the picture. Now, if you want to add text or anything to your picture, um, that's another step. What you could do here, go on the side here and scroll down to this, like this little P here. I mean, you could do a whole bunch of stuff. And Taylor Ashton is so incredible and smart when it comes to all these cool editing things. She's awesome. So for me, you could, I choose text. And you can choose anything you want. You would add text here, and it'll pop up over here. See how the, you get the little window? You would just change your color. Let's, I mean, I, you know, let's just make it whatever color. I'm just going to make it white. Click in here and start typing. So let's say cutie... Juliet. Okay, now it looks very small because the font is um, this. And so let's choose anything. And I'll stand back so you can actually see the font changing. Some of these fonts, um, if it's not changing, that means it's not selected, which um, I'm going to, to select. There we go. There. I don't know if you can see it changing. A different font. It's a little hard. You, you hmm. Well, anyway, it is changing. I'm going to make a nice big oh you know what I'll do so you can see it let me make the font a darker color there now now you can see me changing the color all right I put it in black and I'm gonna I'm gonna move back here so you can see it so you see how the font changes you would just you know pick whatever font you want you know whatever and I'm gonna leave it like that there's a lot of fonts here they have a lot of new ones the fonts here with the crowns you have to pay for that and there's no sense buying these because they give you so many other ones so let's keep this, for example, and I'll just, uh, if you want to change the size. Now, of course, I'm not going to keep the font color black. I have to go to a lighter color because I'm, I'm working on a black cat. So let's just pick white. You can't see it until I click out of it. So there. And you can move it around, you know, do it this, move it around. Um, you can go grab it, make it bigger, smaller. You know what I'm going to do just for the heck of it? Because the eyes are blue. I'm going to goof off with the colors here and make it the same color as the eyes. That's cool. And I'm just going to make it like, I'll make it, actually, I'll make it a little small. I'm going to put it right about there. Okay, so this is a picture. Now, when you're done with your picture, if you're adding text or pictures and you're satisfied with it, go up here where it says save. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sorry, the camera is... Well, it says open, save, and share. You don't have to share it. Just save it. Okay. It'll automatically pop up to save as whatever file name. This is called Black Hot, Blue Eyed, whatever. I'm just going to call it Blue. Oh, God. Let me just we'll save it whatever file name you want. We're just I'm calling it Blue because it's easier to find. Um, I'm assuming Roger, Pierce, and Sean are like the quality of the picture. I leave it in the middle for Pierce because it's just good quality. Save it as a JPEG because that's an image file that works well. And go down here, click Save. Another pop-up will come up asking you to confirm if you want to save it to your desktop. Just say yes, save. Boom. So it's hard to see and I apologize, but that says share is boss 
and you pretty much saved it. Now what you want to do, you want to go back to your own web page, okay? If you're looking at your web page um, directly, you should see it like that. I'm sorry, it's not that clear. Go onto your banner, you know how to do it. Click on the edit channel art. You'll see this screen here. You want to upload a photo or just select a photo from your computer. Press that. Look for what you just saved from PicMonkey. It should be hopefully here. There it is. Oh no, that's not the one. Remember I saved it under a different name? That's it. So we're gonna grab that, choose that. It's gonna upload. The picture, because the picture started off with the correct pixels, you should not have any issues. I had issues telling me, oh, the picture was too small. The picture was too small. If it's done this way, the picture is correct from the beginning. Now, they're giving you three different ways that you will see your channel art on each device. This is what it'll look like on a computer, the TV. If you have a, um, a smart TV like we do downstairs, that's what it'll look like on a TV on the mobile. You can save it like this and be happy. There is a button down here which comes in handy for me when I use script. It's called adjust the crop, which basically means this is what you're going to see. It's really this space that the people see. They don't see all of this. So what they mean by adjust the crop um, this is pretty good because the word Cutie Juliet is kind of in the middle and the eyes are perfect. But what I like to do is make it a little smaller, small as it'll go, and just move it over, center it a little bit more so I can get her name more in the middle. Again, this is something you can play with and, and just adjust and, you know, just make however you want. So when you are happy with this, you press select. Now, once you press select, it will automatically save to your banner. So if you're not happy with it, make sure you keep it just, uh, you know, and there you go. Now it automatically saves. This is what your banner is going to look like. That's actually pretty cool. I like those. I might, I might actually keep this banner. I'll, I'll adjust it a little bit more. Maybe move the eyes over a little bit more. But um, and you know, and if you want to just make sure, see how the public will view it, and that's exactly what the public sees. So that's just my way of doing the channel art. I'm sorry, the video is so long. It is a couple of um. First, oh, I'm sorry. Oh goodness. You know, one thing I don't. The only thing I don't like about this YouTube format when you go to your page as a public view it automatically plays your video and I don't think that's considered a fair view I don't like it automatically comes on so anyway that's how I did it on my Mac um, just using that format you can try anything in images uh, Taylor Ashton suggested use your own images just try to find anything and I hope it worked and I hope you enjoy now what I'm gonna do because um, I'm just gonna go back to my original channel art um, I have the original one saved on the computer here, so I'm just going to go back to the one that I used. I keep it in there just in case. Here it is, because this is the perfect one that I worked on, and I like this one. I don't have to do anything to it because I think it looks good already. Oh, wait, do I have to make it smaller? Yeah. See, for me, I have to make sure it's small enough to make sure the eyes fit. So just, you know, m play around with the 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 the, the, the wording. If you're not happy with this, go back to Pick Monkey. Let me just save that. Saving. Saving. There you go. And that's Pick. So that is um, my way of doing banner art, at least the way I taught myself how to do it with the help of other YouTubers who have also done channel art. I would like to try to maybe one day put Juliet's own picture up here. Um, like Taylor Ashton suggested, go to images and type in your own um, YouTube name and you might find images. But again, always make sure that the pixels, that's the most important part. Because for some reason, they only want, they will not take certain pictures. It has to be a certain size pixel. And like I said, the best pixel I believe to use, and I'm just going to review that real quickly. Whoops. Um, background is like 20. Oh boy. It was 20. Background. 20. Oh, I already forgot what it was. Oh, and there goes Logan. <laughs> All right, guys. So I will see you later. I apologize for that. Let me just decline this one second. Sorry, Logan. <laughs> I'll have Julia call you back in a few minutes. Um, so thank you, guys. I hope it helps. And um, see you on YouTube. <laughs> I am making a shout-out video. It's taking me forever. Um, but I do want to make sure I get everyone's name in there. So it will be up in the next couple of days. Thank you so much, everyone. We love you from the bottom of our hearts. You guys are awesome. We have 129 subscribers over the weekend. We got so many subscribers. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much. We love you all. Thanks. Bye.